When you close your eyes and you think of these islands, you see a beach. Some see a rum punch, but they don't see the people. So scouring the internet this morning while drinking my coffee like I usually do, I came across an article that really resonated and really stuck with me. It is an op-ed in the New York Times today. It's called, Has America Forgotten the Virgin Islands? The writer of the article, Peter Bailey, is in St. Thomas. He joins us now to talk about his piece. And Peter, after the uh, massive hurricanes, we spoke with several people there who told us their terrifying stories of living through those hurricanes and the storms and all the destruction. Then obviously from the article, you're still dealing with that right now. Like many of you in this audience, how, how many people were here for the storm? How many people either lost the roof or know somebody that lost the roof? It's upsetting coming from a local journalism perspective and trying to sit, tell these positives and then to have national news networks calling you and asking you about looting and wanting to tell these stories that aren't happening or wanting to blow things out of proportion. We're talking about a people who stood as it was coming, walked out the other side and went, hey, we're bad, but we good. When something happens, something goes wrong. You call somebody else to take care of it. People walk by because they expect somebody else to take care of it. But here, who gonna take care of it? So instead of sitting down waiting for somebody else to come along, the people gotta do it. For the people, some people are still suffering. I just, all I can think of is I don't want us dying. And I began to pray to Father in heaven to calm this storm. I remember saying, Father God, you can't let us die like this. When I saw St. Thomas and St. John from an aerial perspective, I had to ask my staff and team to give me like five minutes to be by myself because I was just so affected by what I saw. And the leadership in the community managed their disaster in a way that their citizens and their residents benefited. What can I say? We're alive after going through two category five storms. It's interesting the resilience of our people mm -hmm. because we've took care of each other. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say that America is essentially missing one of the most inspiring stories of human resilience. We're just taking care of each other. You don't see the people. And I think that's what these storms did. You see us now. You understand what we are, what we can overcome, where we're headed. For some, that could be intimidating. <laughs> that our people are so defiant in the face of despair that we took that despair and we, um, we created beauty. It was the story I was born to share.